In this video, I will show you how to use a rich text editor with an ASP.NET web application. So here we can see that we have this simple text area and I will show you how to replace it with a rich text editor. So the text editor that we will use is called Tiny MCE. So here let's type Tiny MCE. Then let's go to the first link. Let's scroll down. And here we have to click on Bootstrap. Then we need to copy this script and also this script element. So let's copy both of them. And we need to add them in the head element. So in this application, we have to go to the layout file, which is available in the pages folder. So the layout file is available in the shared folder and is called layout.cshtml. So here in the head element, we have to paste the source code that we have copied. Also here we can see that we have a missing comma, so we have just to add it. So this is very important to run the code correctly. Also here we can see that we are not using any API key. So it is necessary to create an account on Tiny MCE and then you can replace this text by your API key. So this JavaScript code will create a rich text editor into a text area with the ID Tiny. So let's go to the page that contains our text area. So our text area is available inside this page. And here we can see that we have this form. And if we scroll down, we have this text area. So we need to provide it with the ID Tiny. Now let's test the application. Let's click on Create Article. And here we can see that we have this rich text editor. Also, we can see that we have this warning because we are not using any API key. So it is necessary to create an account on Tiny MCE and then you have to use your API key to get rid of this warning. Now we can close this warning and let's write some text here. And let's click on Submit. Let's go to Home. And in the home page, we have our article. So here we can see that the content of our article is not rendered as an HTML code. To fix this, we need to display the content as a raw data. Then let's go to the home page. So the home page is the index file of the pages folder. And then we have this statement that will display the content of the article. So this statement will display an encoded HTML code. And if the HTML code is encoded, it will not be rendered in the page. So we need to delete this uh, statement and we have to use another statement that will not encode the HTML code. So here we have to use the following statement. It is at HTML row and this is the variable that contains the content of our article. Now let's test the application again. And this time we can see that this text is rendered in the page. Now let's create another article. So this time I will show you how to create an article with an image. So for the title, let's call it article with image. Then let's add an image just here. So we can click on insert then image and here we have to provide the URL of the image. Let's select this image. And let's copy the URL. Let's paste the URL just here, then save. And let's submit the form. 
let's go to the home page and here we have this text then we have the image and this is another paragraph